How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and welcome back to another Q&A video. First of all, before we get into the video, I want to mention something awesome. I finally have some Cookie the Dog merchandise. I know a lot of people have asked for it. Uh, at the moment, it is just one design. I want to hopefully have more uh, as time passes, but you can check out the link in the description if you want to pick yourself something up or if you just want to lick at the beautiful art. Like always, if you have any questions you would like to ask me about, you know, video games, Dark Souls, anything really, it's up to you. Uh, feel free to leave it in the description and I'll try to get to it next time. But I got some questions here for you guys, Start starting off with the very first one. Would you like to see Chalice Dungeons or at least something similar in Sekiro? Now, Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne, I actually really enjoyed them in the beginning before I started recording, you know, PvP videos. And the reason I liked them is because it was just more content. And I think as time progressed and I saw how much gems affected PvP in that game, I kind of started to hate them because it was basically a grind fest to try to get those best gems. So you can like two shot people in PvP. But in a game like Sekiro that is only PvE, and it's probably going to be like a story, we'll say 20 hours, right? That's a pretty fair assessment, 20 hours, 25 hours, not counting multiple playthroughs. And for a game that is just single player, I think something like Chalice Dungeons would be perfect for it. Now, you know, I'm saying Chalice Dungeons, it could be something like a Chalice Dungeon equivalent that works out properly for the game itself. But anything that extends the life of that game and gives us more content is always going to be okay with me. Especially since, at least I'm pretty sure the game's going to have DLCs. We're going to have more content no matter, no matter what, but anything between finishing the main game and then the first DLC, having some content there is, uh, is pretty important and hopefully we see something that extends the life of that game because again, it is just single player. Second question, face reveal when? You serious? Never. You know what? I'm never gonna do a face reveal. Ever. Uh, go watch that, that video right there. What would you be playing if you weren't playing Dark Souls? To be honest, I would probably still be playing Call of Duty. I did Call of Duty for a long ass time. By the time uh, I stopped uploading it, I just didn't really enjoy the game. But if I didn't move on to Dark Souls, I probably wouldn't have moved on to anything else because really until the past year, I would say, all I really uploaded was Dark Souls for like two years straight. Just Dark Souls 3. Mainly PvP, again, mainly Arena, did some invasions here and there. For the past like year, year and a half, it's been mainly invasions because that's a thing in my opinion that's been the most entertaining and the most fun to do. You can only do so much in Arena. You know, it's four maps and you mostly run into the same 10, 15 weapons. I try to make the best of it and I think I did, but invasions are definitely where it's at at the moment and probably for the foreseeable future. But I think for sure, if I didn't start uploading Dark Souls 3, as sad as it is, I would probably still be getting 50 views uploading Call of Duty videos and probably not enjoying it very much. I would be at this point two months into recording for an, a montage that will get a thousand views after eight months of recording. What is a guilty pleasure movie you are ashamed of? There's not many movies I'm ashamed of, you know? There's Bobo's Jazar Adventures that you know about. Perfectly okay with that. Everybody in the world has seen it at least once. I believe that is the uh, statistic. But there is one movie that I fucking love, but for some reason everyone hates. And it might be because I watched it when I was a kid, but I kind of watched it I'd say like a year ago, two years ago, I still enjoy it. And that is the real life cat in the hat movie. I bet that's not what you expected. But for some reason, I really like that movie. Mike Myers does really well as the cat in the hat, I think. And it's so dumb, but for some reason I enjoy it. And that's one of the guilty pleasure movies that a lot of people really hate. I enjoy. What is the song from your Adventures of the Worst Invader? Now this honestly might be the most asked question in the world, you damn weep. Uh, I, I believe the song is called Sweet Parade. Uh, like I literally, when looking up for that series, I just searched up cutest anime song, clicked on the first one, it was perfect. Immediately just started using it and it kind of stuck. I was actually planning to use different anime songs. Uh, per episode. I'm fucking glad I didn't because god that would would have been really tough to get 
But yeah, that's it. I think it's called Sweet Parade. Goddamn we. Where did the name Prod come from? I've told the story like three times, and people for some reason still don't know about it. This will be the last time I will tell it. So back in the day, there was a show called WCG Ultimate Gamer. On that show, there was a guy called Prodigy X. Before that, I think my gamer tag was Daredevil. Yeah. And for some reason, I really like the name Prodigy X, so I basically copied the name Prodigy X. Popped a cod in front of that, because that's what I was going to be playing and uploading onto YouTube. That's why my, my uh, YouTube channel is that. As time passed by, it mainly became Prodigy, Prodigy X, uh, when I would join sniping teams, uh, when I still played COD. But then, uh, if you know anything about sniping clips and stuff, you know that everybody only focuses on the kill feed. And whenever I had this really long name, for example, if it was Darth Prodigy X, it would be really long and it would get split into two sections in the kill feed and it would look really shitty. So then I shortened it down to Prod. And eventually, that stuck, and I, I like that name, and I guess I am Prod now. What a loser. But that is how the uh, name Prod came about. Are you good at fighting games like your brother? No, I am horrible at fighting games. He has the fighting gene, but I could still beat the shit out of him. Do you think Sekido will sneak in some PvP? Uh, probably not. I feel like if they specifically said that it wasn't going to have PvP and the game's, I think, four months away at this point, I don't think it's going to have uh, PvP at all. I think it'll have some elements of online, like the messages. I think that's really the only thing that it is going to have. It's not going to have co-op. They said that the reason they didn't want to have like co-op and PvP in this one is because whenever you make a game that is going to have PvP and that is going to have co-op, like Dark Souls, you have to make each boss, I guess, be killable with just about every single build that there is in the game. And that's also one of the big reasons that they have uh, just one weapon. That's why I think this game is, like, the bosses and stuff are going to be amazing. They really only have one thing to focus on, and that is the guy has a sword, right? So they can make just these crazy mechanics around that. They don't have to worry about somebody shooting a bow at them. Uh, you know, lightning arrows, spells, and stuff like that. It's only the one katana, and they could just focus on that. But no, I don't. I don't really think they're going to be having any type of PvP. Sadly, are you planning any face cam walkthroughs? Uh, not at the moment, just because uh, it makes it a little bit tougher to to edit. I wouldn't mind doing more face cam videos, but at the moment, I really have no idea how to. Uh, especially using XSplit, record the gameplay and the camera separately. I want to use. I want to do it using XSplit, but I don't think you can. Uh, so I need to look up different programs on recording everything separately since I usually record everything together So like in the video that I did with the conjuring house Everything was together so I couldn't move the camera around anywhere I wanted which makes things harder to edit because it gets in the way But uh, no face cam walkthroughs at the moment uh, Maybe in the future one of the big ones that I kind of wanted to try doing was uh, Resident Evil 7 with VR and PSVR, but I don't know if I have enough room. But we'll see. We'll figure that out when it comes to it. Which do you prefer, playing Dark Souls knowing people will watch, or playing without a camera rolling, and why? Uh, I don't ever play Dark Souls whenever the camera is off. I only play Dark Souls when I record at this point. You know, the game's been out for three years. I barely like playing Dark Souls 3 when I'm streaming or making videos, so... At this point, I don't really play the game for fun anymore. I've done just about everything I can in PvP. Uh, PvE would be a different story. I suck tremendously at PvE in basically every single of these Souls games. If I was doing COS and I was playing that offline, I maybe would have been able to do it quicker, but the pressure of having people actually watch live and tell me I suck at the video game and uh, criticize me every step of the way. I feel like just made it harder. But it's also more enjoyable because if you get frustrated, you can talk to people in the chat and just playing the game in general is uh, more enjoyable while doing it live at this point. Would you ever be on Oats' Solionaire series? I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I was actually supposed to be on it. Uh, he had invited me on, and this was a long ass time ago. This was, I think, back in like, maybe a year ago? When he was still doing it? Uh, he actually did invite me on, 
and I was going to be on. I had said yes and everything, even though I would have been a horrible guest because I know very little about the Soul series. You know, I just play it. I don't really look up lore and all that stuff, unless it's like Vadi videos. I really just play the game. Would have failed in a question or two. But the day it was supposed to happen, a bunch of people that were in my apartment building were having like this huge party. So it was horribly loud. And I just couldn't be on the show because it would be nothing but like really loud music and a shit ton of noise while participating, which, you know, wouldn't have worked out. It wouldn't have been a good recording for him and it wouldn't have been fun to listen to, I think. So sadly, I couldn't be on it. And uh, I think somebody else was on. I can't remember who it was, but I would have lost in two questions, though. So I'm kind of glad <laughs> I didn't get embarrassed in front of thousands of people. Any chance you will get Dead by Daylight on PC? I'll probably try to get it on PC whenever it goes on sale. Uh, I don't want to buy a full price because I actually would want to get all the uh, unlockable characters, but I already bought three on PS4 and they were like 20 bucks. And I feel like if I bought a full price, it would just be a waste of money for me. Because I don't know if I would play it again on PS4 if I got those sweet, sweet frames. I don't know. But I am definitely going to get it on PC as soon as I see some type of sale. And for the final question of today's Q&A video. How long do you th plan on playing Dark Souls 3? At this point, the game's kind of for sure at the end of its cycle, you know. Uh, I don't really have a specific date. I've always said that if people want to watch it, I'll have some type of video out on it. You know, have it be a Reno or an Adventures of the Worst Invader or a commentary with some Dark Souls 3 gameplay or even a Q&A video with some Dark Souls 3 gameplay. I think there will always be something be as long as people want to watch it. But there is certainly going to be a point where I probably won't really want to play the game anymore. That's most likely going to be when some type of new Bloodborne or Dark Souls gets announced. Or if Sekiro is really fun, then I don't really see myself going back to Dark Souls 3. And at that point... Let's be honest, I don't think there's going to be many people wanting to watch Dark Souls 3. What am I going to do on, on YouTube is a different story, but you know, for now, I'll just say Dark Souls 3 is going to be sticking around. There's going to be at least something every once in a while. Maybe not as often as before, because before I used to do, you know, daily Dark Souls 3 PvP videos. Most of my subs came from Dark Souls 3, which, you know, I really appreciate you guys still sticking around, by the way. Thank you very much, especially if you watch other games and stuff that I upload because, you know, I do work hard on those videos. I try to make them entertaining. And maybe one day, you know, we'll find more people that want to watch a bunch of different games rather than just Dark Souls 3. But even just Dark Souls 3 at this point has decreased a lot. I think people are getting bored of it. You know, has been out for almost three fucking years now. It's crazy. But it should be a while before I, uh, you know, completely put down Dark Souls 3. Will that ever happen? I don't know, man. I feel like that game always kind of calls back to me. I'll give it up for like a month, and then there, there'll always be that little part of my brain. Invasions are there. No other game has invasions. Just that little gnawing feeling at the back of my ear because invasions are just, when it comes down to it, really unique to Dark Souls, and there's not many games like it. But either way, guys, that is going to be it for today's Q&A video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Maybe consider dropping a like if you did. Once again, you can check out the link in the description to see the cookie merch. All my links are down in the description as well. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. You can watch me play video games live if you really want. And also participate sometimes if I do, you know, playing with viewers on Dark Souls 3 or like Dead by Daylight or something. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace, everybody.